asana, the definition of asana, any posture which you can sit without any discomfort for long period of time is called as asana. Sthiram, asana, atmana. Bhagavad Gita says, sthira, firm, relaxed. Sthira, and Patanjali says, sthira sukha asana, sthira sukha. And uh, Shri Krishna says, Shucho deshe pratishtapya sthiram asana atmana. Atman. Our uh, po, atma, atma means body, atma means mind. F relaxed posture, which you can sit for a long period of time without any discomfort. If you can sit for two hours without any movement, that is, then it is said you have got the asana siddhi. To get to that one, in, if I want to sit for a few minutes, my back hurts, my knee hurts. Every two seconds I want to move here and there. That means my posture is not, not yet relaxed, not yet firm. I haven't mastered the posture. To get to that one, we are doing various postures, like uh, mainly asanas, only forward bending asana, backward bending asana, right bending asana, left bending asana, right twisting, left twisting. Six type of postures are there. We are doing, it. each type has various combinations. Various postures we are doing, ultimately to get to one posture. I can sit here for a long period of time without any discomfort. To get to that one, I am doing, they are the preparatory step. Step to get to this one. After getting here, what we should do? It says that uh, now the body, higher than the body is the mind. Look after the mind. If the mind is weak, mind is troubled, mind is disturbed, body is agitated. If I'm, mind is very disturbed, I can't sit. I, body, I can't stand. I keep moving here and there. Mind is very disturbed. And now, to calm the mind, it's, uh, with the, uh, when you get that one, try to calm, relax your mind. How to relax my mind? And in the Aitare Upanishad, it uh, compares the mind to the horse. If you want to control the horse, you can't get hold of the neck and make the horse to stop, or get hold of the feet to make the horse to stop. It says, if you have the reins in the hands, you can control the horse. The reins in the hand is called as pranayama, breathing. The breathing, when it is in your hand, mind is, you can control the mind, regulate the mind. Instead of horse taking, and we are going wherever horse takes, wherever mind takes, we are going. Instead of that one, if you have the reins in the hands, you can ask the horse, go this side, and you can direct the horse, go here go here. Otherwise, wherever horse goes, I also go. I also go. It's a mind has no stability. It is swayed by others' opinion. Others says, this is good, I go here. Others say, somebody says, it is here, we go there. Wherever it's a society says, wherever others' opinion, I follow. I don't have my own conviction. Have the pranayama. Calm the mind. Relax the mind. Use the mind. And mind is the source of, it's like a lock. You can lock yourself or liberate yourself. Mind is a key. You can, in the room, you can key, lock yourself up or liberate yourself. And our personality, whether I'm happy or sorrow, because of the mind. If I'm disturbed, I can blame. Because of him, I'm suffering. It is only my blame game. And if I practice yoga, nobody, we should reach to the state Nobody should disturb us. Nobody is responsible my, for my sorrow or my happiness. My happiness, I got to discover within. Until I do that one, I start blaming others. Because of her, I'm disturbed. Because of her, him, I'm suffering. We are blaming each other. And yoga trains, stop blaming others. Look within, look after your mind. And calm your mind. Get to the stage, whatever happens, you should not be agitated. That is the purpose of yoga. That yoga, that when you get, get that one, 
your mere presence has a calming effect on the society. You are not agitated, you are not disturbed. Looking at your personality, your presence has a calming effect on the society. That is the, serv that is the service we can give to the community. It's a, our world peace should dawn from here. If I myself is agitated, always disturbed, how can I contribute to the world? Be calm, be relaxed. It's a go within. When you are calm and relaxed, you are, when I'm calm and relaxed, my family is calm and relaxed. In um, uh, Bangalore, it's, uh, teaching yoga, uh, quite a few ladies used to come. One lady, she was saying that her uh, family members always used to blame her. Children, husband and elders always used to blame her. Why are you so agitated, always disturbed, always nagging? Can't you shut up? Everyone used to shout at her. She attended yoga for one week and uh, after attending one week, she t came and told me, now I'm asking my family members to shut up. Now, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm so calm, I'm so relaxed. Why they are getting agitated? That's uh, when you're calm and relaxed, your family members also calm and relaxed. Family members are calm and relaxed, you're contributing to the community. Community is in calm and relaxed. Community is in calm and relaxed, you're contributing to the city's well-being. When the city is calm, you're contributing to the nation's calmness. And when the nation is at peace, you're contributing to the world peace. World peace has to origin from here. Nobody can, other day in 2009, I attended World Parliament of Religion and the chairman of uh, the World Peace Council, he, wa he made everyone to chant for 15 minutes. What next, peace next, what next, peace next. For 15 minutes, everyone was chanting. By chanting, you can't get world peace. World peace, you have to practice. By not, not by mere chanting, you can't get the world peace. From 2009 to 2017, World has gone backward. It is not by chanting, by mere chanting or having a slogans or having a logo, we can't achieve the world peace. We have to practice. Yoga, yoga is a means. It's a, be calm, be relaxed. Yoga is the means towards achieving the goal. Left thumb and index finger, we'll practice pranayama. I will show you. The pranayama, as I mentioned, prana, ayama. Doing the pranayama in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita, sixth chapter, in the, he, Shri Krishna defines pranayama. It's a, it is you are neither inhaling nor exhaling. That state is called as pranayama. Prana, apana, gati, rudva. Holding, no, neither inhaling nor exhaling. Holding the breath is called as pranayama. Why holding the breath? When I inhale and hold the breath. Each and every cells in the body gets energized. It infuses the energy into each and every cells in the body. And after that, when I exhale, it detoxifies all the cells in the body and hold the breath again. And now, each and every cells in the body, they are craving for oxygen, craving for energy. Demand is created. Give me energy, give me energy. When the demand is created, when you supply, it is utilized well. <coughs> Until then, when the demand is not there, if you supply, it is no value for that one. If uh, somebody, if you want to teach yoga, there is no desire, it's not, there is no impact. When the desire is there, when you give, it goes well. So that in the pranayama, doing that one, glow in the face increases. There is a luster in the eyes improves. Special radiance in the face increases. It's the physical outcome. Outcome, there's a glow in the ra radiance increases. Health increases. It's a pranayama is, uh, by doing pranayama, you can regain health. Whatever is the difficult uh, uh, diseases, uh, deadly diseases you have, it says in yoga says, doing pranayama, you can regain your pristine health. Pranayama, will practice pranayama. Left thumb and index finger in uh, chin mudra. <clears throat> Bend your right forefinger and middle finger. Why you shunya mudra? <coughs> With the thumb, you are using the thumb and ring fingers for closing the right and left nostril. Complete exhale through the left nostril. Complete exhale. 
Inhale through left. Fill up your lungs. Fill up your lungs. Inhalation part is called as puraka. Now close both nostrils. Through this Gayatri Mantra, Om Bohu, Om Boha, Om Swaha, Om Maha, Om Janaha, Om Tapaha, Om Satyam, Om Tat Savitar, Vare, Enyam Bargo, Deva Sadimahi, Diyo Yona, Prachodaya At, Om Apojo, Trasom, Ratam Brahma, Borboa, Swarom. Slow exhale through right. Complete exhale. Now close both nostrils, no air in the lungs. Om Bohu, Om Boha, Om Swa, Om Maha, Om Jana, Om Tapa, Om Satyam, Om Tatsavitar, Vare, Enyam, Bargo, Devasadimahi, Diyo, Yona, Prachodaya, At, Om Apojyo, Tirasom, Ratam, Brahma, Borbhava, Swarom. Inhale through right. Close both nostrils. Om Bohu, Om Boha, Om Swa, Om Maha, Om Jana, Om Tapa, Om Satyam, Om Tatsavitar, Vare, Enyam, Bargo, Devasadimahi, Dhiyo yona prachodaya at om apojyo tirasomratam brahma borbhava swarom. Exhale through left. Close both nostrils. Om bohu, om bohu, om swa, om maha, om jana, om tapa, om satyam, om tatsavitar vare, enyam bargo devasyadi mahi. Diyo yona prachodaya at om apojyo tirasomratam brahma borbhava swarom. Inhale through left. Close both nostrils. Om Bohu, Om Boha, Om Swa, Om Maha, Om Jana, Om Tapa, Om Satyam, Om Tatsavitar, Vare, Enyam, Bargo, Deva, Sadi, Mahi, Diyo, Yona, Prachodaya, At, Om Apojyo, Tirasom, Ratham, Brahma, Borbhava, Swarom. Exhale through right. Complete exhale. Close both nostrils. Om Bohu, Om Boha, Om Swa, Om Maha, Om Jana, Om Tapa, Om Satyam, Om Tatsavitar, Vare, Enyam, Bargo, Deva, Sadi, Mahi. Diyo yona prachodaya at om apojyo tirasomratam brahma borbhava swarom. Inhale through right. Close both nostrils. Om bohu, om boho, om swa, om maha, om jana, om tapa, om satyam, om tatsavitar vare, endim bargo devasadi mahi. Diyo yona prachodaya at om apojyo tirasomratam brahma borbhava swarom. Exhale through left. Close both nostrils. Om Bohu, Om Bo, Om Swa, Om Maha, Om Jana, Om Tapa, Om Satyam, Om Tatsavitar, Vare, Indim Bargo, Deva Sadi Mahi, Diyo Yona, Prachodaya At, Om Apojyo, Tirasom, Pratham, Brahma, Borbo, Vaswarom. Inhale through both nostrils and exhale. Inhale through both nostrils and exhale. Inhale through both nostrils and exhale. Close your right nostril. Inhale through left. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Keep your back straight. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Exhale through left. Inhale through left, exhale through right, inhale through right, exhale through left, longer inhale, fill up your lungs, fill up your lungs, complete exhale through right. Inhale through right. Complete exhale through left. Hands on your knees. Long inhale and longer exhale. We'll do Kapalabhati. Each count. All you're doing is pushing the air out. Benefit of Kapalabhati, you start getting the grip on your breath. All you are doing, all you are doing is pushing the air out. People with sinus related problem, they find this one beneficial. Circulatory system, respiratory system gets energized. Digestive system gets energized. All you are doing is pushing the air out like this. All you are doing is pushing the air out goes, air goes in by itself, 
एक्टिव एक्सेल पैसिव इनहेल इट रेडी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स क्लोज यर माउथ सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू थ्री फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी थर्टी वन थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन थर्टी एट थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी फोर्टी वन फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी फोर फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टी एट फोर्टी नाइन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी नाइन सिक्सटी सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्स सिक्सटी सेवन सिक्सटी एट सिक्सटी नाइन सेवेंटी सेवेंटी वन सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी फोर सेवेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स सेवेंटी सेवन सेवेंटी एट सेवेंटी नाइन एटी एटी वन एटी टू एटी थ्री एटी फोर एटी फाइव एटी सिक्स एटी सेवन एटी एट एटी नाइन नाइन्टी नाइन्टी वन नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी थ्री नाइन्टी फोर नाइन्टी फाइव नाइन्टी सिक्स नाइन्टी सेवन नाइन्टी एट नाइन्टी नाइन वन हंड्रेड लॉन्ग इन हेल एंड लॉन्गर एक्सेल 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 विल बिंड यूर you make a hook right hand at the top pasha mudra is a hook lock other three fingers other three fingers like this or not that way wrap other fingers tip of the thumbs together <coughs> here thumbs facing the ceiling benefit of this one keeps the uterus related problem people women they find this one beneficial keeps the reproductive system healthy this is purna prajna mudra helps in awakening our subconscious mind whatever we heard today is not the new thing many lives many times we have heard it has gone into our subconscious cabinet cabinet is locked and we have lost the key this is one such mudra helps in unlocking the subconscious cabinet the truth it says it has to dawn from within no information i can have a whole library in my house through the, all the encyclopedia i have it's only the information the truth has to be dawned from within information should be sublimed to become a knowledge that knowledge revelation should happen from within mundaka upanishad it says by mere attending the lectures reading the scriptures you can't get that knowledge knowledge it has to be awakened from within for that you have to practice effort should be there no teacher can give you the knowledge they can give you information they can give you a road map as i mentioned in the beginning yoga vidham the highways all the information all the teachers are like a highway a student should have a courage to get off the highway at certain point take the by lane it's a lone traveler 
you have to travel, get off the highway, take one of the by lanes, go deep within and seek and discover that one within. For that, students should have a courage to get past the bindings, various bindings. So, 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 so social binding, family binding, or I am born in this family, this tradition, that tradition, we have to go beyond that one to discover. Purna Prajna Mudra helps in unlocking, discovering the truth from within. Keep your back straight, neck straight. Attention onto your heart center. Eyeballs are rolled in as if it is gazing between the eyebrow center into Shambhavi Mudra. Smile on your lips. Heart in scriptures it is called a Samudra, ocean. If you look at a sea, look at the ocean, there is a wave after wave, agitation after agitation, turmoil after turmoil. If you ask anyone, everyone will say the same. Life is full of problem, agitation after agitation, turmoil, anxiety, stress, depression. But who has learnt the art of diving deep in the ocean? Like scuba diving, going deep. There you discover serenity, clarity, contentment, bliss, The true happiness, it is not available for the one who swims only at the surface of the ocean. Those who has an ability, courage to dive deep within, they discover the contentment, peace, bliss, serenity, clarity within. Deep within the ocean, there lies precious pearls. Dive deep and pick up that one. When you pick up, come out and reveal that pearl to others and enlighten others also. Until then, when we are Swimming, we are drinking nothing but salt water. That jewel within every one of us is called Vasu. Vasur, Vasumana, one who has a calm mind, serene mind, stable mind, they discover that precious inexhaustible wealth within. The Lord of that wealth is Vasudeva. May that Lord of that wealth, source and force behind the universe, source and force behind me also, may he illumine my path. When I say Om, inhale. When I say Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, exhale. Mantra, Kriya, Pranayama, all in one. Om, exhale. 
ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम ओम नमो भगवते वसुदे Om three times. Meaning of this one, Supreme Lord resides in my palms as a healer. All the medicinal herbs of this world are in my palms. By His grace, through these palms, I heal myself to be an instrument in healing others. Om Ayam E Hasto Bhagavan. Om Ayam E Hasto Bhagavan. Ayam E Bhagavat Taraha. Ayam E Bhagavat Taraha. Ayam E Vishwabesha Jaha. Ayam Shwabi Marshanaha. Ayam Shwabi Marshanaha. Cast the energy onto your head, forehead, eyes, ears, neck, stomach, knees, Bow down. <coughs> 